Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock a CPU. The very first thing we have to do is reboot our computer to what's called the BIOS, which will allow you to change settings on your uh, processor. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Just click on your start button. Let's go to restart. Just click this little arrow here next to the lock and click restart. Now as your computer is booting, look at the very bottom of the screen here and it's going to have a listing of buttons that you can press. It's usually going to be F2 or F1, uh, but it's different for every PC. So on my screen here it tells me I have to press F1 to enter the system information. Now on my particular computer, uh, it wanted me to press F1 to access my BIOS. So I pressed F1 and I've been presented with this screen um, right here. So now I'm going to show you uh, what uh, options you need to look for uh, in order to um, uh, upgrade your computer speed. So what you're going to see in your BIOS, if your motherboard supports uh, overclocking the processor, uh, you're going to have to find some options that allow you to set the CPU clock ratio and the CPU frequency. Those are going to be the main two values that you change to overclock your processor. Uh, the clock ratio you'll be able to uh, upgrade in increments, uh, usually of uh, 0.1 or 0.5. You'll see that as different values that you can set here. And your CPU frequency, you'll be able to upgrade in uh, small numbers. Now, I would suggest if you're going to do this that you step it up just a little bit at a time and then uh, go into your, uh, reboot your operating system and uh, change, go check your processor speed and see how much it's increasing or decreasing based upon the settings that you give it. If you just go maxed out immediately with everything, chances are your computer is not even going to boot and you're going to have to get in there and, uh, and lower those settings down. So just start low and work your way up high slowly. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just showed you how to overclock a processor.